Welcome friends and collectors. Thank you for joining me for another Diecast Emporium review. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the 150th scale Caterpillar D7C track type tractor bulldozer, part of Diecast Master's all new Vintage series. So how this got started and how it gained traction, if you will pardon the pun, is that many collectors loved the vintage machines featured in the Evolution or Evolution series by Diecast Masters, but they either already had the existing cap model that complemented those sets, or they just wanted to buy the vintage model by himself. So once again, this is a clear example of Diecast Masters listening to their client base and their customer base and trying their very best to please everybody. So we have two to take a look at here very, very shortly. The first one is the D7C, and then we also have the 966A, which was released alongside of that. So be sure to check out that video right after this one. All right, let's get to the unboxing. It comes in a brown outer shipping box. They are taped at each end. All you got to do, cut the tape at one end. Here we go. Here is the box. Now, you'll notice that the box style and the packaging is done intentionally to look like it was worn and um, that old style leather, if you will. So I really like what they've done there. Cat D7C track type tractor, item number 85577. There is the bulldozer. We see the vintage series logo. Again, that is all new. On the back... We have a picture over here and a paragraph on the left-hand side. So I'll read that to you. The Cat D7C track type tractor featuring the all-new Caterpillar D339 four-cylinder diesel engine rated at 128 flywheel horsepower and incorporating all the better features of the previous 3T models, including oil, clutch, forward, reverse lever, plus the addition of the newly developed hydraulic track adjusters, the D7C set a new standard for the D7 series of dozers. Hydraulic booster steering and a quick reversing transmission helped reduce operator fatigue and keep production high. You'll also see the logo for the Antique Caterpillar Machinery Owners Club. There's their website. All right, let's get this thing popped open. Just like the Evolution series, it does open in more of a, a shoebox style. I like to call it where it flips open. Once you get the lid opened, you can see a beautiful picture on the back of uh, of the packaging here. We'll take that out in just a minute. Let's go ahead and get the model out. Re remove a piece of packaging. Here is the umbrella that you can put on the dozer if you want to keep your operator figure out of the sun and the elements. Taking this out, you can see that it is attached to a reflective base with a placard here that says Cat D7C Track Type Tractor built between the years 1955 and 1959. Now, if you want to remove this from the base, you can do that really, really easily. It is held on simply by two Phillips screws and a couple spacers. All you got to do is undo those and you're set to go. We're not quite done with the unboxing just yet because check out this little nuance. How about this for a cool little detail? So this is an old style placard that you would see back in the day. So here it is. It's very nice. There's the back of it. Again, which has some information on the machine, as well as the same paragraph that I uh, read to you on the box. So this is super nice. You can even display the model on it if you want to. We also have a custom plain engraving strip. So if you want to give this out to a gift, uh, as a gift to somebody, whether it's for retirement, graduation, or some other occasion, you can have it custom engraved on here. And then we have the Diecast Masters Caterpillar Catalog, which is included with every Diecast Masters cat model. That's the unboxing. We'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have the model off of its base and take a closer look at it. All right, folks, as you can tell, we have the bulldozer off of its base now and on the spin table for review. Again, apart from this being one of the more highly requested models that Diecast Masters offer by itself, this is just a really cool model of a vintage cat bulldozer. It features a angle blade, which if you remove this screw and this screw, you can angle it either, as it's seen right here, angle to the right, straight forward, or the third option is obviously angled to the left. So that's a cool bit of functionality that, again, the same model had in the Evolution series. You can see the headlights. The grill perforations are really, really nice. They look really good. You can see those, along with the Caterpillar name. D7 can be found right here. Here is the umbrella, but if you don't like the umbrella, you can always take that off. Just pop it straight off like that. And we have our vintage operator figure. 
at the controls of this D7. Now this also has a large winch at the back of it, which was one of the many options you can get for this machine, whether it was a drawbar, a heister winch, or even a, I believe they did offer this with a ripper later on, and you can see all the different controls for that. Taking a look underneath, you can see the track pattern detail, the bolt detailing on it, as well as the blade detail. And those holes are where, obviously, the model mounts back to the base, should you want to display it back on there. The engine detail is quite nice, although most of it is in yellow and plastic, so it's a little difficult to see and really truly appreciate all the detailed parts that are inside but once you have this in your possession i guarantee you that you'll get a good appreciation for it as it looks quite nice i already mentioned the lights last thing to point out for details is we have a silver exhaust stack uh, that comes out of the top of the engine cover let's take one last break when we come back i'll show you the functionality all right welcome back everyone very simplistic functions on this model, but that's really all you need because the old D7 was a very simplistic machine. If you think back to today's uh, D7 dozers with the electric drive technology, it's fascinating to see where we've come in 50 years. Starting out with the rolling test, you can see that the tracks are too stiff to roll on a smooth surface. However, they can be made to rotate and move freely by hand in either direction. That's helped along by these sprockets, which help the tracks move. They also appear to be spring-loaded, so if you like taking your tracks off, that's something you could probably do with relative ease with this model. Last bit of functionality is the blade. I mentioned the big selling point for the blade is its ability to be angled, as it is called an angled blade. Right now it's angled off to the right, you can angle it off to the left, or you can have it facing straight forward, and it will raise to a height of here, and it will go down to a depth that is below the machine. It's hard to see because of where the support arms are for the blade, but you can get it to go slightly below grade. That's it. That'll do it for this Diecast Emporium review. I hope you guys appreciate the effort that Diecast Masters is doing to give you some of their vintage machines in this new vintage series without having to go all out and commit to buying the Evolution series. That said, if you are a fan of the history of Caterpillar or the history of heavy equipment, you can get this same model in the Evolution Series Track Type Tractor set. You can see the video review that I filmed on that right here at the top right corner of your screen if you are watching on a PC. Thanks again so much for watching. Until next time, take care, be well, and please check out the related videos that are on the screen right now. Chances are if you enjoyed this video, you will enjoy the suggested links on your screen. Take care, be well. I'll see you guys in the next review.